don't really want to kill these level 1 things because they're not going to give us much XP. She speaks the truth. Twitch actually provides all of that for you. So if you go to the dashboard and it'll give you... Oh, there's a fate nearby. Let's do the fate, you guys. Oh no, I died! <laughs> Alright. We'll try that again, shall we? Um, so she's talking about in your X split. So if you, or I'm sorry, in your uh, Twitch. You hush, Jason. I am a noob in this getup. I have, like, no gear. Like, look at my gear. I'm literally in the start of gear with, like, a crappy bow. So, the dashboard is part of your Twitch. If you go to, like, Twitch, and then down the sidebar, there's a place for your, uh, Um, there's just a place for, um, dashboard. They were only level 3, Jason. We're gonna try again. I'll probably die again, but that's okay. We're gonna do it anyway. Because, unlike Minecraft, I'm not afraid to die in this game. And don't be trolly, yo. God. <laughs> Oops, that wasn't what I meant to do. I did get some XP from that faint. Ah, I do too, Jay. Aren't my boots like the best though?
Ugh, why haven't I leveled up yet? Yes, Jason. I am being an archer. Well, it's a little hard to be an archer that does take damage to the face when I don't have a party. When I don't have a tank to tank for me and take all the damage to the face. I'll just run in a circle. How's that? So now we can put on that lovely eye patch that we got earlier and actually wait a minute I forgot this nifty hat is going to help me get XP up to 20% when in level 10 levels So I'm going to look like a complete derp, but I'm going to wear this lovely Moogle hat. Isn't that adorable? I believe the Moogle hat was part of the, I can't remember if it was the Collector's Edition or if it was part of Early Access. I think, actually I think it was part of Early Access um, when 2.0 launched. And um, because I bought Collector's Edition of 1.0 that automatically gave us Early Access to 2.0 because we got the game for free. No, that's a lie. We got the e Collector's Edition download for free, but that did not give us early access. We had to purchase it. We bought it for the PS3, so we got early access anyway. I believe. Maybe. I may be making this up. I don't remember now. Alright. Um, let's see... Let's pull up the map. Let's do a little bit more exploring, shall we? Instructor Maestro needs volunteers to bring him some bog Yarzon shells for the recruits to practice on. You'll find Yarzons in the river south of here. Once you've pried their carapaces car from four of the creatures, take them to the instructor. Alright. Oh, music. I love it.
There's one. a little bit tough. Come on, get up on the rocks. There you go. You need to do it. We just need one more. Yay! There you go. Nope, oh, sorry, I haven't been reading these. Let me go back to the beginning. He asked if I came to train. I'm not a new recruit. Then, ah, the yards on shells. Um, I see he's learned to delegate authority, if nothing else. Back to where we are now. Now that I have these caprices, I can set my recruits some specialized drills. They are already adept at hitting the target, of course, but they need practical knowledge of what, of exactly where a monster like a Yarzon is most vulnerable. Thanks to your efforts, I have no doubt they will fare rather better against the creatures where, when called upon. You should be proud of yourself, both they and the bank. Danak are safer for your help. Aw, yay. Hmm. I'll go with the food. Actually, no, we'll go with the tin pieces. Okay, B, so if you're looking at your dashboard, there's like a chat window and the video preview and all that. 
right above that, underneath the word dashboard, it'll say live, bookmarks, editing, activity, stats, stream key, streaming apps. Click on that streaming apps link and it gives you a list of all the apps that is compatible with F XSplit. That should help. All right, let's return real quick to Gridania. Mm, actually, no, wait, don't want to do that. We want to keep exploring the Twelves Wood. Hmm. Ah, oh, yes, there's a bridge. Let's go to the bridge. Let's see if there's one south. Not oh, there is. <laughs> Juni. I just have my dashboard open. That's really the only way. The only reason I know. Yeah, so if you click on streaming apps, it should give you links to all of the different so all the different softwares and options to download them. Oh yeah, you won't be able to download them on your school PC. So this is Bent Branch Meadows. I discovered a new location. Woohoo! And as you can see, I am in a sanctuary, so if I hang out here, I will get rested bonus. Rested bonus is, um, you just boost your experience. We'll touch this at the right. I have attuned to an etherite and I have learned how to teleport. <laughs> Junie, yes, B, you have to do real homework. So basically, for a small amount of gil, I can teleport between the etherites. I say small amount of gil loosely because right now I could not afford to teleport back and forth because teleports are expensive. So instead, I will continue to run around because this is such a pretty zone. two exams tomorrow. Ouch. Are you all studied up and ready to go? Look at how pretty that is. I just love Gridania. I think it really is one of my most favorite zones. That is part of what I love about this game so much, like, it's beautiful and you could literally just come out here and explore and it would be fine. I'm not gonna try to kill any of these things because, yeah, they'll kill me.
next, let's go ahead and return to New Gridanium and pick up the next storyline mission. So back to the Coraline Canopy to talk to Mother Mune. Gwendolyn, have you visited the Bannock on your wanderings? I have, actually. It is the training ground found just outside the city where soldiers of the Order of the Twin Adder are drilled in swordplay and other martial... or marital... no, martial matters. Where's right? Okay. I mention this because an acquaintance of mine, a gentleman by the name of Galfred, is an instructor there, and I think he may... you may be used to him. Go and introduce yourself and find out if there's anything you can do to help. Alrighty. Mind you, do not stray from the path. The Twelfth's Wood is no place for merry strolls through the Sunderbrush. Yeah, we've already died there once. We are well aware. I'm still online. I'm still streaming, B. I don't know. Hmm. Welcome back. <laughs> Hello, Windsor. I am uh, playing Final Fantasy XIV from the beginning. So I don't know how long you've actually been watching. Um, apparently, I am drunk rambling through the forest um, in my exhausted state because apparently I do not sleep anymore. That's an awesome thing that's happening. All right, let's talk to Galfred. Greetings, Gwendolyn. Meun sent word to expect you. My name is Galfred, and I'm responsible for training our twin adder recruits. Thank you for volunteering your assistance. The Twelve Woods is much changed since the Calamity's arrival of the Seventh Umbral Era five years ago. The power of the elementals wanes, and the harmony of the forest gives way to chaos. A great abundance of life has been lost as the strong run rampant stress stifling the weak and new sprung. Though it may not appear so to the eyes of an outsider, the Twelve's Wood is ailing. It was once its once rich variety of fading memory. For the citizens of Gridani, the restoration of the forest is a sacred duty, and it is my hope that adventurers such as you will offer to aid them in their struggle. Oh, nice. Okay. So you know what's going on. Listen to their request. Do all that you can. May the elementals bless your endeavors, Gwendolyn Driviniati. Yay. Achievement unlocked, Storyteller 1. Ah, no worries, no worries. I don't really care about the achievements. I see you are eager to lend a hand, Gwendolyn. That is well, but I cannot in good conscience send you into the forest until I have established that your equipment is equal to the task. 
It bears repeating that in the five years since the dawn of the Seventh Emperor Era, many of the twelve sub creatures have transformed into vicious, bloodthirsty monsters. Venturing into the forest without proper gear is tantamount to suicide. I suggest you take some time to evaluate your equipment. Once you deem your armor to be sufficiently qual be of sufficient quality, present yourself to me for inspection. Equip your head, body, hands, legs, and feet with gear level 5 or above before returning. <laughs> I will certainly pass that message along to him, Windsor. Um, we have been actually trying to talk him into that he did finally say yeah he does have some music he could just you know do tracks for us so i'm hoping really hoping that that becomes a thing because yeah that was pretty awesome all right so i am poor i cannot afford level five gear yet so Let's pick up some quests. A soldier of the Bannock wants you to track down some initiates that failed to appear for training. Oh, the slackers. Ah, oh, perfect timing. I was just looking for a likely last to track down some Twin Adder initiates. Three of our newest recruits have failed to report for training, exhausted from the month of solid drills, I expect. Considering the current physical state, I rather doubt they wandered far. Hmm. Oh, gods, please don't mention wild beasts or blood. They're fine. I'm certain of it. Seek out my wayward troops and tell them to report back to me on the devil. This guy is, like, super, super understanding, considering these guys are, like, not showing up for work. If they were in, like, the real army, the drill sergeant would be like, What in the hell? You pansy weight, panty waist, get your shit together. Can you not see I'm attempting to become one with nature? Leave me be, good madam. What? Sergeant Kamazon sent you? Matron's teats, I'd better get back before she makes me... She makes her boot one with my backside. That's right. I just don't imagine they would put up with, aw, the poor babies, they must be so exhausted. But like, no, you join the military, get your shit together and get going. Such a soothing sound on the day I shall, one day I shall build a home by the river. Who are you? You are the sar- you say the sergeant's looking for me? How long have I been here? What bell is it now? Stand aside, I must make haste. Oh my gosh, so dramatic, these initiates. I must make haste. Where's the last one? Ah, he's hiding. You can request a game. We can see if one of our streamers can oblige. Sure. Just a few more minutes, mother. Huh? Sergeant Kamazam. Uh, F droppings. I must be late for training. Alrighty. 
And let's go back and finish the quest. Thank you, Gwendolyn. All of the initiates are now present and accounted for. It's always the same, you know, a handful of recruits invariably lose focus a short while after being assigned to their new unit. The first rush of tension and excitement always wears off, and strain from constant drilling begins to slow, or begins to show. Reprimanding them isn't always the best solution, though. I've their morale to think about, after all. Still, I might have given... I might give them a quick blast for good measure. What can I say? This is one battle I'm not afraid to fight. Um... <laughs> Hoonie Pop. Uh... I will not play Hoonie Pop. Um... That would be a good game. You know what? I think that... Actually... That would be a good game for Jay to play. Hey Jay, you should totally play Hootie Pop. You should add it to your Steam wish list. And we could all pitch in and get it for you. And then you could play it. And yeah. I think that would be hilarious. I would love to see that. But yeah, I won't play that game. <laughs> Tiles is different. It's free and it's stupid and it's easy. Um, Hootie Pop is hilarious and definitely boy oriented, and I think you should play it. I think that'd be awesome. Well, you can play it if you have the parental controls on because there are some explicit scenes that you cannot show on Twitch. Um, but yeah, uh, no. Nope. Yeah, I'm not going to be playing that game. And we'll complete the quest. There's a little more gill in our pockets. Alright, let's take a look at battle gear. What can we afford to buy? We have an eye patch. Alright, oh, go in the armory chest. Oh, this outfit is so hideous! <laughs> Starter gear. Yay! That's awful. That's right. Let's go talk to Galfred and see if we meet his inspection. Ready for inspection? Right there. Eyes forward, back straight. Hmm, yes, I think you pass muster. Would be surprised at how many young, promising soldiers get themselves killed by rushing off into the woods without first donning a decent set of armor. Your equipment, however, should provide the required degree of protection. Consider yourself ready for duty. Alrighty, 